اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to use GSCA to analyze this proposed model. Now, previously, we have used PLS SCM and covariance based SCM in Smart PLS. Now, with the new addition, you can use GSCA in Smart PLS. Now, let's assume we've got a model with one independent, one dependent, and one mediator, and we want to analyze this using the GSCA technique. What are the steps that one will follow to analyze such a model? Now the steps will remain the same no matter what SCM technique you are using. The first step will always be to assess the measurement model. The second step will be to assess the structural model. The only addition that you may have is some additional statistics that we will have to report and present and interpret. In this case, this will be model fit. Now, the first thing that we are going to do is let's create this model. I've got this data here. Now, create model GSCA model type GSCA and let's call it the measurement model. Save it. Now, collaborative culture. I've got six items for it. We may move the indicators to the left. Organizational commitment. Move them to the top. And then finally, organizational performance. Now we are going to connect them IV to MB, MB to DV and IV to D. Now our model is ready. Save it. Calculate basic GSCA algorithm. Because the first step is to assess the measurement model that is the quality criteria in which we do the factor loadings, reliability and validity. Let's start. First thing, outer loadings, all good except for this one. So what should I do? Shall I delete it? No, you won't delete it unless or until you look at the construct reliability and validity. Now in this case, it's all good and this is good as well. Now, why is it red if it's good? Now, this has to be over 0 0.50 and with the advancement of our updates, this will be rectified. Now, the next thing is discrement validity less than 0.85 all good you can look at Fornell and Larker criterion now this value here which is the square root of ABE for CC must be higher than its correlation with all the other constructs in the study so is the square root of ABE for CC higher than its correlation with other constructs in the study yes 0 0.787 is higher than this and this what about this the square root of AVE for OC, is it higher than the correlation of OC with all the other constructs in the study? Yes, OC is higher than this value, the correlation of OC with CC and higher than this value, the correlation of OC with OP. And same is the case here, the square root of AVE for OP is higher than its correlation with OC and CC. Now you can assess the, disc the cross loadings as well. That the items are loading well onto their own respective factors instead of the other factors in the study. Well, yes, all good. Now, once you are done with the measurement model, the next step is to assess the structural model whereby we look into the hypothesis. Now, you can copy all these details by just clicking here. Now, before we go on, just one more thing which is very important in GSCA. The model fit. Now, if you look here, how do we estimate these values and which ones to estimate in this case? Now, in this case, we are going to estimate these ones. Let's have a look. Fit. Now, fit 
indicates the total variance of all variables including the indicators and the constructs components explained by a particular model specification. Now this is like R square in linear regression. The values of it range between 0 to 1. The larger this value, the more variance on in the variables is accounted for by the specified model. For example, 0 0.50 indicates that 50% of the total variance of all the variables is explained by the model. Now, how much variance of the variables is explained by the model in this case? 60% variance of the 60 percent of the total variance of all the variables is being explained by the model and this is close to one so we can say it is an acceptable fit and we are going to we are not going to use adjusted fit you use it when you have multiple models and you are comparing them now fit s and fit m in this case we are going to use fit m which is for your measurement model and in this case let's have a look it's 65 percent so it is closer to one so we can say it is an acceptable fit now this is for structural model it is not that close to one obviously uh, and you can say that it's not that good moving on once this is done and reported the next thing is to check for your hypothesis testing and let's say we go for the recommended is 10,000 bias corrected one tailed and Let's start. Now the first thing, path coefficients. Now the relationships are significant. The beta values, the standard deviation, the t-statistics. Now where is my mediation analysis or mediation result? Well, the mediation is significant as well greater than 1.645 because you, we used one tail test and is it partial or full so the indirect effect is significant and the direct effect was significant as well so it is partial mediation i hope this short session would have helped you understand how to run a basic model using gsca in smart pls Thank you very much.